Hello and welcome back to more reasonably sane coverage of the Pro Series live on Candlepin Bowling Network. This is Alley Cat Lanes in Kingston, Massachusetts. We had an interesting moment. The reason for the cut was we wanted to cover that tiebreaker match for you. We only got it on YouTube, but in the end, Nick Zuffalato, you see here, was victorious and is advanced here to take on John Winchell among the rest of the field who has made it to the round of 16. I'm Greg Guyar for Candlepin Bowling Network, and alongside me is Kevin Burns and Paul Grant. Hello. Hello, Greg Guyar. How are you doing? Doing all right. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Greg. All right, so John Winchell, the number one seed in the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class A Northern Conference, trying to go to the finals for the third time, as is Justin Waters, Waters World in Class A South. He's taking on Nick Overtime Freshy Zeffalotto. That's right. Joey Lister and Scott Douglas are in. It'll be Dean Sullivan versus Craig Holbrook. Justin Kochi versus Bob Whitcomb. Dave Barber versus Scott LaPierre. And I see Tim Susie and Luca Charna. Chris Winniars, I think that's Corey Packard over there. And then Danny, Danny Harris. Harris and Tim Douglas. Wow. John yeah. Winchell here, the number two seed, is taking on Nick Fresh is up out of the 18th seed. Bracket right. style. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to have you back after that ad hoc uh, experience. We should be now relatively back to normal. If All right, Greg, explain the format to the viewers at home, please. It's a one-string knockout. It's as simple as that, unless it becomes a tie, in which case it becomes less simple, in which case we just have another one-string roll-off, as we just did with Nick Zuffalato, much to his chagrin. And if that's still tied, two boxes and two boxes and two boxes until the tie is broken. Hit, knockout means head-to-head, -head, and John Winchell delivers nine, ten, strike! as opposed to elimination, which eliminates half the field each time, which Tim Douglas was champion of. And you gotta feel bad for Sean Baker who threw a 137 and lost by 10. Simply outrageous. Elimination, he would advance. The setback shot, Woods to the left, 5, 6, 10 for Nick Zeffaletto. Freshy, always wearing shorts. And didn't like, hit the wood the way he wanted to, he knew it. Like many bowlers, to be fair. Yep. Perfectly normal in Candlepin. But you can, you can be 30 below zero. You'll see Freshie out shoveling snow, I think, in the shorts, too. I mean, it is New England, <laughs> after all. We're here in Kingston, Massachusetts, where we'll keep going no matter what the weather. Uh, Freshie's an easy tire. Freshie's a fun guy. He's a great guy. So Winchell 10 plus the value of the next two to start. Freshie bowls for Metro out of PBD Mass, the Friday Night Pro League. John Winchell for Hingham this year, formerly Union Street. Almost a double. Ooh. He's up to six. Future Hall of Fame potential. He's Hall of Fame eligible next time around. John Winchell. Freshy pounds the strike zone. He gets that four to go. No. Full, I guess. Three, six, right. Winchell for a big 20. He's got it. Spare on strike. 20 through one. 30 and a ball through two. John Winchell, the number two seed. Only one pin behind Tim Soucy, who again tops the leaderboard in a Pro Series singles competition. He was top in Sanford, Maine as well. Bola Rama. Freshy, three right, four left. Two marks behind already. Field goal for an eight, 18 through two. John has a 12 pin lead already, plus a bonus ball on lane six. All right. We should be live now on Candlepin Chat and Candlepin Bowling Network, Facebook and YouTube. Please uh, get the word out that we are indeed live after that interruption to our uh, channel trying to chase down that tiebreaker. Although next time I probably will not cut the broadcast. I made that mistake. I should have just left this going, streamed separately, and then uh, we would have had this chain of communication. John Winchell, four in the spear after a strike, 34 through two, with one string knockout head to head. We are committed to fair, honest, and open communication here on Candlepin Bowling Network. Fresh with the four horseman check mark. And Winchell slides by the head pin, everything else went. Freshy, good shot, he got it. Oh good, we've got Michael in chat, we can continue. 28 the ball through three on the spare, Winchell a nine, 43 through three. So Freshy one mark behind now. And Zuffalotta won that tiebreaker match on the very last box against Tyler O'Brien. He needed that spare at the end and Zuffalotta was just pinning and pinning and pinning. He had three 10 boxes in the early going and was gaining that way. But then O'Brien started making a move. O'Brien had a tough sh shot at the end, he almost pulled it off, he just missed it. Winchell on the crossover, which did lead to the king falling down, Greg. Six, nine, ten right, seven left. Huh, fascinating. <laughs> 
Freshy in the extra session. Beautiful ball strike. He gets a big 20, pumps his fist. 38 through three, 48 plus two through four. Can take the lead possibly, unless Winchell spares. No, Ajik pin, brutal. Seven, nine, 10, four pieces on the deck. Spray that wood one way or another. Grabs two of the three for a nine, 52 through four on Candlepin Bowling Network and high definition on YouTube, always free, never a charge. Hit the subscribe button. Strange game, Candlepin making the 7-10 is mundane. So Freshie is down, 16 after two. Now he goes a big 20. And he's on a strike to take the lead potentially. Winchell crossing over nine, a wiggle on the six holds his ground. Woof. Freshy with a shot for a strike. Oh. Oh. When right turn Clyde, would you want to go left? Reference to Clint Eastwood movie, Every Which River Loose, the orangutan, but Clyde, the star of the movie. Which has to hit the rack. There's a spare. Wood was not frozen, good shot. 62 half plus one, they'll switch sides. In a moment, Freshy on it again, three in a row. Spare and strike. 58 through four, 68 half plus one. A six pin lead. Greg. Now they switch ends, so it's uh, three marks to three right now and pinning is exactly level. Right, right now it's those 20 boxes of, in the field quality right here. Zuffalato getting those two 20 boxes is the difference right now. Uh, check, check, yeah, that should be fine for me. Just a coach to our right, getting valuable experience against the Hall of Famer, Bob Wickham. Wickham has the lead as he gets a strike to our right. Yeah. That's actually a double strike for Bob. Double strike for Bob Wickham, wow. Freshy pounds nine more. On a great run, 77 half. Not just the lane, he's dialed. Over four in a row with the kingpin the five. And experienced, he's bowled an extra string. He basically will be bowling a 10-string arrow when all is said and done if he advances all the way to the end. Winchell crossing over. This time it does leave the, the king, Greg. Five, yeah. then three, six, 10 right. 68 half, and he trails by nine. Actually, Zuffalato made it to the finals at this very event. Uh, and came up second place to Josh Daly. He got it. This time it might be different. For the better, I mean. Four in a row. 87 Where's in a ball through six. Winslow just missed the object. Yeah, it could have gone there. Would have wanted to dig it into the three six, I would have thought, but run it in here now and get that 10. John Middle pinned for an eight. 76 through six. So he's down 11 plus a ball from Freshie. He was down again 16 after two. Has turned it around in his favor. So relieved to have the crowd back in here. Thank you very much all. Please like the video by hitting the thumbs up button so that everyone's in the know. We should be keeping this broadcast all the way to the very end. The Spear is 7, 94 through 6. What a start for the room to be. 2, 4, and the 9. Oh Winch will need some arcs. Barry's 8. 8 and the 10. Wood to work with. Looks like 4 from our point of view. pins. Winchell needs these marks in a hurry. For another one. Not this time. All right, chance here. Miss the entry pin. John needs this mark. Get back in it. Now he's two marks behind. Chance to get one back here. Hmm. It looks like there's pieces of wood carrying. There's a V in the middle of the lane there among those four pieces of wood. Maybe he'll try and split that. For a spare. No. That's what he did. It rolls. Maybe. It hits. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Tough break. A great try by a great bowler. Massive good break for Zuffalato. A sigh of frustration for the veteran bowler, John Winchell. Freshy on the nose for a 10. 104 through 7. He had a 105 in that overtime first round playoff. John 10, 86 through seven. Now he's down 86 through 
seven, so he's down what, 28 right now, Greg? 18. A 18, 86, okay, 86, now just updated. Yeah, 86, so. 104, 86, fresh sheet, three bucks go up 18. That's a 34 yep. pin turnaround since the first yep. two boxes. There's a false score on there. They're gonna have to clear that away real quick. Okay, now we got it right. The, the, the computer thought s activating the pin sweeper was knocking all the pins down for a strike. All right, so let's update that score. So is it 104.96? Uh, is that right? No, that's wrong, too, because it's 104.86. They'll get that right in the end, but we have it right on screen. That's all I care about. Okay. Nick, three in that first ball. Winchell needs a couple of marks and a tough 3-2 split. He's made the shot many times in the past. Freshy remark flies over the two and the five. He got it. Nice. Case in point, you may call your next witness. He's done it again. Clutch shot by John Winchell out of Exeter Lanes. Freshy 10. 114 through eight. And these John has these are correct. 96 in the ball. Yep, so he does have a fake 10 box on the board, but we'll get that fixed in a moment. And Freshie recognizes that now. Well, I'll offer my assistance if they want to. The eighth box is a fake 10. The spare is in the eighth, so. They're fixing the scoreboard officially as it shows yeah. John 10 extra pins. John could use the 10 pins, but. Yeah, so you take the spare on there. That's correct, and then they have to wipe it off the ninth box. That'll be right in just a second. Rush is doing everything right here. Just got to reset that. Pro Series singles knockout on Candle Pin Bowling Network. Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Massachusetts. Great place to bowl. Book a birthday party corporate event and pick up Candle Pin gift cards. They do have 10 pin also in the other building. Yep. Although I do notice the fill is wrong on this one as well, but that'll have to be fixed as well. Freshy on the headpin again. Seven goals, a chance for the 3 6 10. Bob Wickham humbles Justin Kochi, 139 so to 96. Is, this is really 96 in a ball. Watch my scoreboard. Winchell gets an eight fill here, and it is 104 in a ball through eight. Down 10, needs a mark. So that's three higher than it is on screen here. Freshy trying to keep the pace. This left, three in the 10. We got it right for you folks. Golden opportunity for Winchell to cut it close. And he does, money. 114 of the ball in the ninth. That's right. Two critical pins for Freshy. Got them both, big 10. 124, 114, that one box to go in this one string. Yep. Knockout round. A strike would help Winchell. Scoreboard is correct now. John needs to strike the tie. Or another mark, but that's the yep. quickest way. The strike would be another mark, huh? You get that double digit lead, you know you need another unless the opponent doesn't pin. Freshy half whist ouch, not a good time for that. Uh oh, well. Winchell, beautiful ball off the wall. It is six. Tough lead. Two, four, seven, ten. He's got to get this one now. Skinny. More than likely. What it's playing with Freshy does. Skinny head pin. 20 through nine, down four. Skinny head pin hit, but he's made a break like this already. Freshy, ooh. Tough shot. It's a Paul Grant shot. That's a heck of a time for that. Needs an out. John, this be amazing. He got it! He made wow, it. what a shot! Clutch again! Made a 3-2 early, a 3-1 piece of cake. All right. Unbelievable. Now Zaffalotto needs a massive out to challenge. Tough six. Oh, and that was the box for it, but now any Phil takes it. Unless John loses his ground and fumbles the ball in the channel. The foul lasers are on. Yeah, foul lights are on. Steps up, falls over the line. Could right. be a zero block for the overtime. All he needs is one pin. What a great back and forth string. And John wins it. 
He gets five, 135, 130. Freshie, a tough luck loser. What a match. 130. And we've seen that's another 130 score that's going to fall short. 137 and lost by 10. Unbelievable. What a two clutch shots by John Winchell. The 3 2 split, the 3 1 split. John, Unbelievable. John Winchell advances. He will face, uh, it's a coach here at Whitcomb. It's Bob Whitcomb. So it's John Winchell versus Bob Whitcomb. That will be on lanes three and four. We are getting either, uh, it's the Holbrook Sullivan match and the winner, Douglas versus Lister. We'll see. Now let's say Sullivan won that match. I think he threw a 134. That's a scoreboard on the screen there. But you've got to give credit to Fred the Fresh. He was down 16 after two, and sometimes that can get in your head when you're down that early against a good bowler, and he get, took the lead. Yeah, four John marks span there. Fought back. And two incredible shots, and I talk about John all the time. John makes so many clutch shots, U.S. Invitational, money matches in Exeter lanes. Final headpin stats, John Winchell was nine for 10 on the headpin. Zuffalato, seven for 10 on the headpin. Six marks to four. Pinning was pretty level, all told. It was only within two, so that wasn't the main thing that decided the match. Just those two extra spares got it done, even though Freshie was just filling. 20 box, 20 box, 19 box, 17 box. How about that? Taking a look around, it looks like everything's all set here, so now we get set here. We are, so it'll be Scott, either Scott Douglas and Joey List, one of Scott Douglas and Joey Lister, and one of Craig Holbrook and Dean Sullivan in just a moment. That'll be on lanes five and six. Yeah, so Luke Kachana ups, uh, uh, rather not upset, but defeated Scott Lapierre. No upsets in these brackets. Right, Based on seating, though. Right. Scott Lapierre versus Luke. Lanes one and two. No, Scott Lapierre's bowling. Oh, Scott Lapierre's bowling, Luke Kachana. That's what it was. Never mind. Yeah. I got misinformation. So Luke Kachana's bowling Scott Lapierre. Teammates at it, three and four. John Winchell, Bob Wickham, lanes three and four. We have the twist of Scott Douglas, the younger brother of Tornado, Tim Douglas. But they're not bowling each other. Therefore, victorious over Joey Lister. Oh, my. Joey Lister came into this number one in the standings right here. Tim Douglas is taking his place on lane two and possibly taking his place at the top the Pro Series leaderboard. Joey Lister is number one right now, but Tim Douglas, both men with two victories, two event victories in this Pro Series circuit. And it'll be interesting to see. Scott Lapierre still in, he's in third. Looking for Danny Harris, but I don't see him. No, he's not in. Danny Harris just got eliminated by Tim. Just got eliminated, he came in fifth. And Joey Lister got eliminated too. Yeah, we saw John Winchell just now, he's in seventh. And then yeah. And then Nick Zuffalato, that's going to be unfortunate for him because he was in 24th place and he just got knocked out there, although that was a valiant win in that tiebreaker. Maybe he's done enough. Dean Sullivan, the third seed, always in the running. Takes on Scott Douglas. Scott Douglas, the 11th seed, so a 3-11 matchup. All right. This is the quarterfinals now. Here we go. Here we go. Quarterfinals, one string match. One string roll-off. If they tie, if they tie the one string roll-off, they'll do two boxes until somebody wins. And preferably over here, please. Monitor my headset, my headset monitor. <laughs> Dean Sullivan, we left on the right. Nice ball, nine. Sleep, Johnny. Awesome. Scott Douglas with four. Dean clean shot at the eight. This guy, textbook bowler. So accurate. There's a reason he dominated King of the Palace for so long. Right on it, Spare. Just at this one string quarterfinal match. Douglas spins by the five. Great try. The winners go to the semifinals. All coverage throughout on Canlip and Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Scott gets to 10, but Dean's on a spare. We're down to the final eight, the elite eight. March Madness. I love knockout. It's a harsh format, but it's a heck of a lot of fun for us to watch here. You see immediately the thrills and spills of it all. Sullivan crossing over, drills nine again. Six pin for a spare, 19 through one of nine. The twister gets nine. He's dealing with the nine. 
You have Wood up in front, and you go past that Wood. Don't want to keep counting that Wood. Cushion's high and angled, no guarantee. Dean using the whole approach, takes his time. He got it with the wood. Back to back to start. 29 of the ball through two. Douglas right on it. Spare. 20 of the ball through two. Nine pin lead for Sullivan. Kevin. Dean Sullivan qualified with a 624. Scott Douglas qualified with a 600. Okay. Thanks, Kevin Burns. Kevin Burns. Dean Sullivan. On the spare, another good shot, but just missed by a smidge on the pocket. He's got the four horsemen and a post. Spare nine, spare five, 34 through two. Douglas in the pocket. Breaks up the diamond, maybe, but no. Cannot uncut it. Six on the spare, 26 through two, down eight. Head to head, one string, knockout round. Was that a jewelry joke, the cut of the diamond? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Sullivan missed the head pin that time, one, four, 10. Right to left ball, tough to access the one-two. And Douglas, Wood got in the way. Ah. Four and the five. And it sort of wrecked the pinning situation. Now he's got to pick one. Sullivan missed left for an eight, 42 through three. Douglas, a field goal to match for an eight, 34 through three, 34 through three, Dean up eight. This is Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. You've been hearing Paul Grant. You've been hearing Kevin Burns. My name is Greg Guyar. Thank you. We really appreciate your support just by watching. If you wouldn't mind giving a like or a share, that helps out a bunch as well. We and the bowlers all thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button as well. Get notified when we go live. Over 1,000 videos and climbing. Never a charge. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Fourth box, one string knockout. Sullivan, half Worcester, three of the nine. Don't you just love that shot? No. Thank you. Yeah, correct answer. <laughs> Am I up high? Let's see. Scott Douglas, three. Make it four. On lane three gets five, rather. Lane five gets four in that first ball. All right. Pitting duel coming up here. Got some stuff on his hand, so. I'm wipe that off. Yeah, sometimes... Uh, I mean, pin setter machinery naturally has to be lubricated in order to function, but sometimes that can get on a bowler's hand with the balls returning back, so. Got to be. Although toweling isn't nearly as much of a ritual here as in the other game, that can still make a difference. What a great match. The last one was a freshie and John Winchell, 135 to 130. What a great back and forth that was. Delay here. Might have been for the adjoining lane pair. Team gave it a try. 5-6-10, the setback shot. Though there is a growing movement that says as long as the obstruction is not on the adjacent lane, you're fine. Scott, ball rolled behind the five. Good effort. Fall short. Single digit lead for Sullivan. Try to get two here. And object pay won't carry. That's an eight. 50 through four. Scott gains two with a 10. 44 through four. Four is a wild. A touchdown lead for Dean Sullivan. Yeah, basically within a mark now. Team from Manchester, New Hampshire. Scott from Marshfield, Massachusetts. So Dean's always in the running of these pro series. Beautiful ball, but a split of three and one. Two, four, seven on the left. On the right is the 10. He's got V-shaped wood angled to the right. Douglas on the crossover, gets a kick off the wall. It's a baby split, three in the 10. Not easy, but manageable. Unfortunately, I think Sullivan's built himself a bit of a mousetrap. I'm worried it would capture the two pin going across, even if he does get the slice. I'm going with the two four pocket. When in doubt, play the pins. Yep. To your point, Paul. He does. Oh, what a try, comes back, just missed. He did. Ten. It did get stopped up by the wood. Otherwise, it probably would have stayed on course. Excellent shot by excellent bowler. Scott got it. Spare. Nicely curved in. He's got a chance to take the lead for the first time. This one string knockout round for the rights to the semifinals. Stay with us throughout. 
including the finals. Dean gets the 10, 60, half. Scott 54 on a ball, seven to take lead. Bowl switch sides. Station identification from the soothing sounds of Greg Gouillard. This is Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. I think I promoted it a moment ago, but either way, like, follow, and subscribe so that you're always in the know about our latest Candlepin Bowling content. Well, people are tuning in and out different times too, so. That's fair. Scott on lane six, seven to take the lead. Dean's biggest lead was 19 to 10. In the first box. Scott Douglas, 15th in the Pro Series standings right now. Dean Sullivan, er, sorry. Douglas in the nose, nine, maybe it's eight. Ah, oh, the wood rolls away, tough break. 15th in the Pro Series standings, excuse me. Wow, look at that leaf, unbelievable. He takes the lead, eight in the spare, 62-60. Sullivan just missed the pocket, comes back for the two, the one, four, seven, spare opportunity. Yep, and the wood's right in the middle there, so that should help. It's not good effort, trying to get 10 here out of this next ball. And that would be great considering the leave. And the lead, how tiny the margin is, so those single sticks might matter. Sullivan got it. Can take the lead back, spare. Scott, nice 10 on that 1-1 one, one ugly split, 70 through six. Correction, 72 through six, right? That's right. 72, Dean's at 70 in a ball through six. So a three field to take the lead, and he wants more. And he could. Remember, he had that 19 box to start. Quarterfinals, round of eight. Single elimination knockout at Alley Cat Lanes in Kingston, Massachusetts. Douglas, six, one, three, six in front, the nine behind the three. One of his better leaves despite the miss. Not a crazy leave, as the shirt says. <laughs> Sullivan crossing over, gets eight. Three right, five left on the bonus. Takes the lead, 78-72. Douglas knew it right away, missed everything. Sullivan to the mark. He got it. What well, great break on that ball. It looked like it was going away at the first moment, but I it was too. actually perfect. Scott gets three of the four for a nine. 81 through 17, 88 the ball through seven. Up seven, can put it, push it up as much as 17 on the fill. Such a sharp delivery to Sullivan's ball. Uh, right to our left, let's see. John Winchell, Craig, right. uh, uh, Bob Wickham, Hall of Famer, 20, class of 2023. Is it 107.92? John Winchell, is that right? Yep, Winchell versus Whitcomb, so Winchell's, uh, up. Winchell's up by 15. Okay. The arrow on the box tells you. Yep. Scott, Scott, Scott Lapierre, they're going crazy. Yeah, uh, three, six, seven that was. Holy smokes, lane seven. On the bonus, takes out the head pin. Seven, eight, nine, wood rolling around. Great development for Dean. 95 through seven, up 14. Douglas has let this one go, so he's probably going to need marks on the next two to stay in if he can fade this mark. And he may. This wood is not at all convincing on the seven pin for the 7-8-9 for Sullivan. Dean, that won't go. He went way on the left hip, trying desperately to deflect the ball into the seven. Crazy leaves make you do crazy things. I don't blame him. Scott Douglas, a nine box. We get a freshie in just once. Dean gets a nine. 
and 104 through 8, up yep. 14. Long Freshy. time no talk, Paul. I know. What's on? What's up with you? you no know, much. You know? Not much has changed since yesterday. Yeah, you know, know. Yeah, or yeah. earlier today. How, yeah. What? 130 you lost. That's a heartbreaker. You know. Yeah. You know what? John made two incredible shots in three, the end. Three two and a three one split. I mean, at that rate, it's just you, you tip your hat. Exactly. And, I mean, he bowled fantastic, and he made the shot when he needed to. And and he's he's continuing it right now. So it seemed um, like that overtime win you got, uh, Tyler Ryan, give you an extra jumping a step. Yeah, you know it's funny you say that because it, it did. It almost was like you know how much adrenaline can you how much more adrenaline can you have after a double over or a, well an overtime match. So I mean heading into Winchell's match, I felt great, but he obviously felt better. So. Scott Douglas made a crack at the two five seven ten and got all but the ten. Unfortunately, he's likely to fall short here. He's going to need a double strike more than likely to win. Once you're trying to put it away here with a spare, and he just missed by a smidge. Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. You. We'll let you. We'll let it slide. <laughs> Douglas nine. Ninety-nine through nine. Like Winchell nine, one. 113 through nine. Uh, Dean, 113 through nine, no, rather. Scotty needs a double anyway. Yep. Sorry, my bad. John Winchell has lead 124, 110 over Bob Wickham. Fresh, you play by play? What's that? Want to do some play by play? Last box, go ahead. Yeah, sure. We got it. Scotty's coming up here. He's a check mark, right? Well, oh, he's clapping. All right, I mean, nope, Dean's shaking his hand. That's, you know, good sportsmanship. Dean's pointing his finger. I don't know what he's pointing at up there, but that's all right. He's taking his time setting up. Go up, and he's going to shank it left. Well, that's all right. I mean, it's. Let's see if the old man can make it. Scotty <laughs> over there. Wow. Boned. Yep, he claps again. I get you, Scotty. I get the you. The words expressed by Freshie, not necessarily those of Kenneth Mullen Nebrick or their affiliates. That's true. That's You know what? That's actually a pretty valid disclaimer, Paul. I'll give you that. <laughs> That's valid. I'll give you that. You're so, you're so, seri you're so serious, Freshie. No, what do you mean? No, I'm, not right now. Yeah. I'm okay. It's Earlier, all, yeah. All right, Greg, wrap it up. It's always just a, a, a nice soft toss at that for a 123. Well, he victorious. Dean moves on. Semifinals. 123, so fresh, did you, Dean. Did you get to cash it all, by the way? No, I I needed to get to this round. Boom, 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 boom. But, but, so, well, no, so there's a little good news, bad news. I, I think after today, I've solidified a spot in playoffs. So, good news, bad news, right? You know? Yeah, I, I wish there could, could be a wild card, possibly somebody with the highest score, like Sean at a 137 loss. And maybe that if the highest score, highest two scores, yeah, the high, maybe get, you know, just something to think about for rules to make sure. Yeah, hey. I'm just thinking out loud. Listen, hey, always, uh, always room for improvement, right? Yeah, or yeah. different ideas. But yeah. all I know is right now, I think I punched my ticket to playoffs. So, so. talk about <laughs> talk about your upcoming wedding here. Yeah, yeah. So sure. July fifth, uh, we're getting married in my parents' backyard. Very small ceremony. You tell who the lucky lady is. It's my beautiful fiance Samantha, who is fiance. Oh, Corey screamed loud, but. Uh, uh, yep, is, so that, is that going to be on Can Open Bowling Network on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to go live uh, on Can Open Bowling Network. <laughs> Subscribe. It's free. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha for the pie in his face. Strike. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I'm going to be a. I can't believe I'm going to be a freaking husband. So that's a two hours sleep will do you, plus two matches in ACST matches in Nashville today. Wow, Paul. Bob only lost to Johnny by four pins. I just want to take a minute and point that out. 129 for Bob Whitcomb and a 133 for John Winchell. Another great match by John. Just want to give a shout out to John. He's pulling pretty freaking great right now. Uh, Second place in total pinfall today. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's 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 some great bowling. I mean, you need a uh, need high scores if you're going to win a, uh, a title. So I mean, Johnny's Johnny's bowling great. And also shout out to Scott Lapierre. He bowled a. Uh, Fantastic second half. I don't know if you guys saw that one. But yeah, he had double. We have a double strike there. Yeah, yeah. No, he didn't even have a double strike. Uh, he, he had a, a fantastic back half, 65 through five, and he finishes 136. And he beats Lou by, I think, only a couple. And Lou started off with four in a row, spare double right. spare. So, it's so pretty exciting bowling going on right now. All right, we got to make uh, a producer's call whether we're going to do three and four or seven and eight. I wonder. Well, hmm. Producer's see. call. I don't know. You're the producer. You can make that yeah. call. Yeah, no, no, no. You're, who do we got here? We got Scott. Let's cover the main. Let's get some main coverage here. Love to cover the main bowlers. That's right. three and four. Oh, like Scott Lapierre and Timmy Douglas. I'm yeah, down with that. Timmy. We just covered John and Dean already. Dean so and John. Yeah. All right. Uh, Good stuff. 
So the groom to be, July fifth, huh? July fifth. I got the whole week. Is there is there a rain date? Semifinals. Uh, no, we. <clears throat> so we're we're gonna get a tent. That way, no matter what, we'll be we'll be able to get married. Okay. So. Always right. have an indoor plan. It's exciting. Right. It's exciting. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Nick yeah, I know. Zeffaletto. Thanks, Paul. Groom to be. That's right. She's lucky. I mean, you're lucky. She's. I'm more lucky. I mean, that's what I meant to say. I said it wrong the first time. <laughs> she she's a lu- she you're the lucky one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the cliche right, right. sooner or later. Right, thanks, Nick. Hey, hey terrific run. Thanks, terrific Paul. run. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, higher seat gets lane choice. Let's pause 10 seconds for station uh, identification. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> n- no. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. LaPierre and Tim Douglas. And it's Dean Sullivan and John Winchell on 7 and 8 off camera here. We want to get a good view of this matchup here. I'll keep an eye on those scores. and I'll. Thank you. This is the Pro Series. Kevin Burns. Singles knockout from Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Massachusetts. Paul Grant, Greg Guillard, Kevin Burns, live on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Dean Sullivan, the number three seed, versus John Winchell, the number two seed. And then Tim Douglas, the number five seed, versus Scott LaPierre, the ninth seed. So a top 10 finish either way. You betcha. The Tim final four and March Madness. And remember, Tim Douglas has won the singles elimination event. Is it going to be more Tim dominance between the fact that Tim Susie won both pinfalls in those two competitions? Here we go. 5-2 split here. Scott Lapierre from Sanford, Maine. A check mark. 5 middle, 2-4-7 left. One string match. Wonky camera angle now, but we'll turn back to 5-6 and six for the final. Tim leaves up the 1 in the 8. If there's a tie, a one string roll up. If there's a tie after the one string roll off, two box roll off until somebody wins. Scott just missed left. Two in the five. Tornado gets nine. Scott Lapierre takes the lead with a 10. In a match at Alley Cat Lane's first time I covered this two seasons ago, the Atlantic Can Open Singles Tour against Waters World, Justin Waters, before it's Waters World and before it's the Tornado, Tim threw nine spares and 12 strikes in a five-string throwing match. Watch that on Can Open Bowling Network on YouTube. 12 strikes, most I've seen. Had 11 by Mark Carrier in that ACST final with Mark Weber. Tim is relishing. There's a strike the opportunity to have the home lanes, although Scott Lapierre showing you how to do it as well. Scott, I'm not related to Jeff or Jerry Lapierre. 20 plus two through two. Douglas, nine and 10. Plenty of wood to help. And he got it. Mm. 19 of the ball through two, both on marks. He threw a good ball. I'm surprised it didn't go as one, but it went as it should have. Finals next on Caleb and Bowling Network. In for a good one already. Dean Sullivan, 16 to 10 over John Winchell after one box. Douglas, beautiful ball, but only six somehow. Seven left, three, six, 10 right on the spare. 25 through two on lane four. On lane three, Scott Lapierre is on a strike. And just missed right, one, two, four, seven. Still more sticks to get on the strike. Douglas, that one got away. Three, six, seven. Lapierre wraps around the two. <laughs> nine the strike. Big fill, 29, 25, up four. Yeah, loading up, up, up one pin at a time. Douglas missed for a seven. 32 through three. Scott has the lead, single digits. Raised it for a 10. The gentleman shot, 39, 32, seven pin lead. Don five Brant for Scott. Five time Pro Series champion, Scott Lapierre, has a 207 to his credit also. You can watch it on YouTube, Scott Lapierre, 207. Check it out on YouTube. Both these bowlers, nice to everybody except the pins. Douglas then hit two and then comes back for the one. Strange formation. Scott for the strike, he's got it. Second strike already. 49 plus two through four, trying to get to the finals. Douglas, oh, what a try, he got it! How about that one, folks? 
42 in the ball through four. Spectacular shot. Was Kevin? In a minute. Dean Sullivan has three marks in a row. 42 in the ball through three. John Winchell 26 through three. The other semifinal match. Yeah, three marks to none. Back to our action. Tim Douglas in the pocket. Five. 47 through four. <laughs> Indeed, with a, stri a strike on spare. Unbelievable. Lapierre at our coverage. 4 7 10. Working a second strike fill of the string. Oh, so that's what the strike animation looks like. I wouldn't know. Tim missed everything that time. Dean, 52 through three. How about 62 plus two through four? Lapierre, give it a shot. Four in the 10. Brings him up to 57, so now that is a double digit lead with that extra pin. Tim, Ooh. object pin, only gets two for a seven. 54 half. He'd like to trade lanes, and thankfully he gets two. And Scott gets a nine. 66 half, up a dozen. They switch sides. John Winchell is on the board. So Dean Mike. Sullivan to our right, four in that first ball on the strike. And John got a spare strike combination, so after 26 through three, 46 through four, 56 plus two through five, do not ever count John Winchell out. Just ask Justin Scally, the money matches in extra lanes. Dean back to Hume. Oh, wow, he got it. Unbelievable shot for a spare. Follow the bouncing ball. What a shot, 7-10. Wow. Could you pass out the eye exam? <laughs> Follow my finger. <laughs> Wow, incredible shot. 76 in the ball through six. Douglas whirling and twirling, it's one. For an eight, 62 through six. Scott's up 14, plus a ball. Puts him through a 194 in the world singles. Do not count him out either, he's too good. High ceiling for him also. Lapierre. Nine, ten, strike, that's three. He's just getting the, the string. He's just getting the pins to bounce end over end. Extraordinary. Douglas, three, one split, two, four, seven, the ten. Scott on a roll. Yeah, Timmy can't get the time of day. It's splits on every single head pin hit. Missed left. Scott, 86 through six, 96 plus two in the seventh. And John Winchell coming to life over on the other match also. 66 half, you got another mark. 76 in the ball through six. Tip Douglas 71 through seven. So Lapierre firmly in front at the current moment. Scott on a great run, this one string match. Another strike bid, seven. Wood bounces between the three, six, ten. Douglas. 1-8, right side, 6-10. Didn't care to look at the outcome on that one. Ball is no. Scott Lapierre just Ooh. missed right. Wood Unless it rolls. Back, taps it, but not enough on it. Nine in the strike, 105 through seven. That explains the fist pumping. Oh, He's the, thrilled with that. What other channel hit the 10 pin? Would not go for, for Tim in trouble now. Scott, 10 box, 115 through eight. Douglas, 10, 81 through eight. And Bruce had to strike out here, Greg. The miracle zone. Pretty much. We could switch matches if you want. Well, let's watch one, at least one more box of this, though. But we've got a good one going on over there. Yeah, why don't we switch over, Greg, I think, after this box for sure, because this is uh, pretty much over now, I think. That should do it. So let's, let's, let's switch over. Sounds we'll, good. We'll give you an update here. We're going to switch our cameras to John Winchell, Dean Sloan, as Scott Laffer is moving on to the championship match. <laughs> How are we looking there? All right, so it's 89. Let's see. 89. Yep, no, Dean Sullivan has the extra mark right now. He just got that spare on the seventh. 
What's and he's up? just loaded up with seven. So he now leads. Uh, one we got Justin Scally at Justin. Yeah, Dean just got seven on a fill. Let's see when John's score goes back up. All right, you can do the play-by-play -play if you'd like, Justin. Uh, no, like? I'm all set. Thank okay. you. Okay, okay. 89. Yep, 16. Yeah, 16 for Dean. Okay. Oh, nice, nice shot. shot. That's a 3 6 7 gone like that. And now I think Dean Sullivan is starting to make this one an anti climax. So I think we might have our finalist set. Taking a look over here. John just got that shot. That's good shooting both ways. That's why they're in the semifinals. 115 99. Dean Sullivan in control. And remember, John Winchell at the second highest pinfall today, one pin behind Tim Susie's total. Scott Lapia defeats Tim Douglas, 133.99. Scott Lapia from Maine in the finals. Denying us a complete Tim dominance in the singles. And by that, I mean Tim Susie and Tim Douglas. So Scott will go for a six Pro Series title. Semifinals now, folks, and finals coming up in just a moment. <laughs> Big strike for Winchell. 119 and two, okay, you say miracle zone, but strikes are part of that. Sullivan, oh, Ooh. close to again. Goodness gracious, so Sullivan came into this box with a 13 pin advantage. The strike is going to whittle that down. Winchell still needs more help, although that could come in the form of a spare fill on the strike. It is still possible. Dave Barber runs the tournament. Does a great job with Allie Barber and all the other ones. Nate Leeds, Lori Lewis, Samantha Freshy. Great job helping out. And Wood's good. Don't step on the foul laser and you're good. Both foul lines are armed and ready. Dean picks it up. Ten box. 132 through nine. And Winchell is on 119 and 2, so unless he doubles, he cannot catch on this box. But one more mark, and he can. Well, another tough luck loser here, Greg. Yep, box 10. We'll keep you apprised. We'll have the proper scoreboard up for the finals as well. Solve with the check mark. A mark would put this away, probably. Critical. Fill here for Winchell. Smooth ball. <gasps> oh, wow. Unbelievable. Yikes. He must make this split of all things to five, stay in the match. Five middle, eight left, ten right corner. Give that man a break. I am far from the only one who ga gasped on that shot. Some can put it away here. Not quite. Chance available, just. Somehow, John needs this shot. <laughs> oh, to try. That will do it. It's going to be Dean Sullivan and Scott Lapierre in the finals next on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Oh, boy. Sullivan 10. Dean, nice string. 142. And again, a 130 something is going to lose. Winchell 10, not too shabby, 138, 142, 138, another tough luck loser. A standard pro average is 120 something, and 138, sorry, that's your last string of the day. Holy. That might, be the best, that, might, that might have been the best match of the day right there. Yeah. And we had a 147, 137 as well, if you can oh. believe it. Oh, really? Yeah, we had a 147, 137. It was... And it was Sean Baker over Craig Holbrook. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, not the one There's we caught on camera. a high-powered matchup right there for you. A couple yeah. of the world's teammates. That would have been a good final, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Maria Subs. That's right. Let's hope this one is. All, All right. So turn the camera around. Thanks, Justin Scally. Let me get right on that. All right, so. Final time. One string match again. Overtime if they tie. Two box roll off after overtime if they tie the overtime. <laughs> Although that we would love to see, to be the, fair. The finals coming up next on Canlepin Bowling Network. All right. 
take a recap here. Remember, we started with five string qualifiers to determine the seeding right here. Is this three seed and nine seed? Is that right? Dean third and Scott nine. If my Dean was third and Scott is ninth. That gives uh, Dean Sullivan lane choice, of course, as the higher seed. As with the previous rounds. Computers are armed and ready. Uh, Dean's taking a second right here, and then we will get started with this match. How are we doing? Where are you watching from? Well, yeah, you got to feel like for Sean Baker earlier through a 137 loss. John gets a 138, loses. John gets a 3-2 split, a 3-1 split for a spare against Fresh. He wins at 135 to 130. All right, I'll wait for... Sullivan will have lane choice, but I'll put the names in this way around to start off anyway. Exciting final, it's about to start momentarily. Sarah, a great question in chat. This is a one string final. All the matches are one string, even this one. Unless, of course, we tie, but by default, one string. Now, uh, is this an elimination or a knockout? <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> you can call it either one. Come on. I'm just call it what you want. I'm just kidding. All right, let's see which lane. Knockout well, style is head to head, so the final is obviously head to head. Some pro series eliminations where the top bowlers advance. But this tournament, it's head to head knockouts. Now down to the final two. And what a war this is going to be. All righty. Wow, good guess. You actually put Sullivan on the right and Lapierre on the left. Oh, man. <laughs> Got something right today. Here we go. My name is Greg Guyari. That was Kevin Burns, that last voice you just heard, alongside Paul Grant on the call right now for the finals, live from Alley Cat Lanes in Kingston, Massachusetts, final round of the singles knockout. Bob Lee is watching from Chester after cleaning out his bar. How's it going, EP? Good to see you in chat. Let's get ready to the road All right, one this, string to decide it all. This is for all the marbles. Let's see what good happens. Dean Sullivan, lane six, Scott Lapierre on lane five. Beautiful ball, but a clipped wing eagle. A New Hampshire bowler and a Maine bowler, let side the, by side. Let the grindy pinning com commence. Scott, three strikes, net 133, semifinal string. One, two, spare chance. Good break away from the head pin. Take the leave any day if you miss the head pin in that first ball. Sullivan. We have one behind, the eight also behind, actually. Didn't see that first. So now it's the three, six right. On the left is the four. Lap here for a spare. Just missed Ooh. left. He wants that one back. Have to get it on the outside with his right to left working ball. Dean and eight to start the championship one string final. Dean Sullivan originally by way of California before moving yep. here. How's Noakes? 10 to 8, Scott up by 2. I watch the bio sheets sometimes. Though I'd love to have it all in one spot one day. It's 8 miles high, like the bird song. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Not a clue. Sorry, folks. Big, big band from the 60s and stuff. Turn, turn, turn. One of the 10 for Sullivan. Makeable spare chance. Happy year. On the nose, he's got a 2-1 split, 3-6 right. On the left is the 7. Dino, got it! What Wood shot. sweeps to the 10. What a shot by D. 18, the ball through two. Scott trying to kick it over somehow. And he sends it over, but it falls into the pit. The violin blow did not string across to the 7. And Scott, 10, two tens, up two, but down a spare. We'll see if those extra pins matter. Someone asked in chat, this is basically uh, how many strings have they each bowled? For Dean Sullivan, it's his ninth. For Scott LaPierre, it's its tenth because he didn't get the one round by. Nick Cephalato could have also bowled a ten stringer, all things considered, if he had uh, made it all the way to the finals. 24 teams made the round, the playoffs, eight got a bye. Sullivan the bonus crossing over. He's got the three six right. He has the four on the left. 25 20 up five. Now Pierre missed left. Comes back for the three. Wiggling one six ten. Interesting wood there, Greg. 
Um, it's a pretty vertical piece, but I think it's bridging the one and six just enough, even though it's not I the ideal angle you would want. It's tilted just the right way. Oh, Dean just missed by a speck or less. By a splinter. Scott Lapierre, he missed the object pin, the one. He's got a couple of chances. That wasn't necessarily an easy shot. Dean doinks it for an eight, 33 through three in this one string championship match on Candleton Bowling Network. Scott buries the head pin for a nine. All right, so that one spare making the difference for Dean Sullivan so far in this one string finals match. Scott pinning slightly better. Dean has a four pin lead, seven blocks to go, unless we have overtime. Needed a 574 to make the top 24. That's about a 115 average and a 614 to make the top eight. Tim Susie was top of the leaderboard with 628. Sullivan crossing over, has a check mark. Five middle, three, six, 10 right. Should go over the women's results at halftime, but first this. Lapierre, nine, just missed the eight for a strike. Lapierre's ball is this special knack for getting the pins to tumble end over end and get that extra pin action. It's quite incredible, and I'm trying to figure out how. Sullivan for spare. Comes back for the five. Ooh. Oh, it goes. Hello. Make up my mind, spare. 43 the ball through four. Lapierre matches. 39 the ball through four. There we go. A couple of bonus balls each. $800 for the winner, winning bowler, winning bowler, and 400 for the runner-up. The number three seed and the number nine seed overall. The three seed leads by four. <laughs> Sullivan crossing over again. Seven goes down, three, six, 10. Chance for another one, 50 through four. Lapia's turn, he gets eight. Seven, 10 goal pulse. Ooh. Rolls the pitch, got one in high in front of the seven. Better Almost fill, worse leave. Almost like a beach type, a tee shape. Englewood to the right. That's on a spare. 47 through four. Dean's up a field goal. Front of the mark. Looks good. He's got it. Third mark of the string. 60 out plus one. No surprise there. Scott, it was too deep. Dean made a killing on those King of the Palace shows. They'll switch sides after this box. You can watch those on YouTube. We miss you, New Palace Lanes. Lapierre gets a nine, 56 half. Dean's up four plus a ball. We'll switch sides. Back to Greg Gouillard for an update. Uh, by the way, the competition in the lady side, Lori Lewis was top with 525. Blanca Gacharna, the probable bowler of the year on that division, 511. Ali Barber, 500, taking third place there. An honorable mention of Brittany Underwood, a good young bowl on the rise, 495. Sherelle Nealon, 471. Kim yeah. Baker, 450. And yeah, previous event champion record. with Tim Douglas in the mixed doubles at yeah. Augusta. Alicia record, 438. You can watch that coverage for the championship. Yep. On Canelton Bowling Network on YouTube. We did call it. Yep, we did cover that earlier today. Lap year, switching sides. Gets two more to go. Two pin for a spare. Yeah, in fact, I think we did, we did actually get to cover everyone, which is a nice atonement for not getting to last week, so the last time in the Pro Series. Sullivan on his third mark, pushes right, 1789, 66 half, up 10 right now. He's got a golden chance here for a spare. And no problem. 66 in the ball through six, championship match, one string final. Tightens it up, unless Sullivan can find a way here. Sullivan. Almost stole it. Oh! Came back for the one, got the seven, the eight leans, but won't go. Well, that's Nine a massive delight. what if. What if the wood didn't collide? If the wood didn't collide, that would have gone. Yeah, I think it was on course, Kevin. Nine for Sullivan, 75 through six. Scott can take the lead with a strike. Four bucks to go in this one string championship match on Candlepin Bowling Network. Hit that subscribe button, always free, never a charge. Nice ball for strike nine. Tie game. 75-75. Sullivan. 3-2 split in front's the 1-3-9, left side 4-7. It's only a break if you make it. 
Not a chance to take the lead potentially with a spare. Yes, 85 in a ball through seven crowd. Gives him a hand. Capping in. Sullivan, tough leave. And he almost got it. So close to the seven. What a try. Thought that one, didn't you, Greg? Such pretty pin action. Just a deadly bowler, Dean Sullivan. Pinpoint accuracy, 10. 85-85, but Scott on a bonus to take the lead. Final three boxes. They're playing a certain sort of victorious melody from a certain famous Freddie Mercury group. How Scott. apt for the finals. Scott, it's a dime. Are you going to sing it, Greg? Nope. I value our uh, channel uh, support. 91-85. Scott's up by a touchdown. <laughs> Sullivan, beautiful ball. A tough 4-10 split. Ooh. This guy has so much bad luck. He, he's so accurate. A lot of splits. Lappy had just missed. Yep. His third. He does have more splits on this. Three in the six. Lapierre only got one more head pin than him. He used the wood. He go for the pin. He's going for the wood, and nothing doing. Sticks might matter. It's only a single-digit lead. Scott splits the uprights for a ten. One on one through eight. Dean, nice nine, 94 through eight, two blocks to go. It's a seven pin lead. Boy, Sullivan really got that ball out to the left. I think he was trying to chip that 410 over. You only need that pin on the third ball. And he did get the prudent thing. On the nose, eight. Mini crossover, you could say. 610, a golden chance, two pieces in front. Should be a layup. Sullivan on the nose himself. He gets eight. Five left, nine right. Not get the it. friendliest piece of wood in front. Yeah, he was motioning it. Get away, get away. I don't need your help. I think there's a second piece there for LaPierre. Sometimes double wood can ruin it. Spare. No problem. 111 in the ball in the ninth. He's got to get this somehow, Greg. Yeah, this is so annoying. It's a shot. It's right in his pocket. Tried the other way, nothing doing. And Scott has the edge for the championship right now. Because I don't think that piece of wood was covering the nine, though. I think Sullivan was reasonable to dodge it. And didn't go anyway, but nine. Well, that proves the point. 103 through nine. Scott's up eight plus a ball. Dean probably needs a double strike, Greg. Pending the fill. Pending the fill. Half Worcester changes things. Right in the nose, eight. So good. 119 through nine. And that forces Dean to get a double now. Sullivan, that'll do it. Scott Lapierre is your Pro Series yep, that's singles knockout championship is sixth Pro Series title. Another spare. For Jared good measure. 129, the ball in the 10th. He's all pumped up. Dean, a great competitor, falls short. Congratulates, Scott. And Scott LaPierre points out to his support group, that's for you guys, that's for you guys, he says emphatically. We'll talk to Scott before we sign off. Dean, a rare miss there, four. 107, didn't matter. Scott finishes up with a strike bid, nine. What a performance, 138, 107. Wow, 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 Greg. We'll take a look here. We'll uh, get that microphone out front there. Scott LaPierre, who came into this day third in Pro Series standings, gets another victory today. And we'll get out there and interview Scott LaPierre in just a moment, uh, actually very, very soon. Let me just get this all set here. Lap here. Number, number six, right? Wow. Number six. Wow. Right? <laughs> wow. I didn't even ask you yet. Oh, <laughs> the, 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 uh, I thought the check was in the mail. $800. Oh, good man. for you. Like $800 it. a first. Dean gets, Dean's such a good competitor. Oh, a lot of punching out. He had you early. Oh, man. And you made so many clutch shots. Three strikes in that semifinal match. Wow. Yeah, I came back hard today. 
I didn't stop battling all day, I tell you. Feels good. Feels good, Paul. Really good. I mean, just clutch it. Shot at the clutch shot. We needed it. Yeah. I've been working hard at this for a little while, so. You got your mother yeah, and your baby. son, Ben, here. Bring Ben down here for a second. Absolutely. Come on up, bud. Been watching me all day, this guy. <laughs> and his next young lap here, uh, Prodigy. Man, right? Yeah. You're going to win your own now, huh? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so awesome. it's great to represent Maine and get a pro series title. Yeah. Bring it back to Maine, and Sanford, Maine. Yeah. Um, we'll see what happens with the points too. Always third in points coming always, in. Always up in the running. Always. Wow. Yeah. Hey, a lot of practice. I tell you what. Doing this a long time since so I was five years old. So, but yeah, felt good today and uh, yeah, paid off. I like it. And you already said it earlier, but a three-letter word anyway. Oh wow! Okay. Wow! Great job today, guys. All right. Thanks for watching this great game. And Kenneth Mulling back to Greg Guyot to wrap it up. So congratulations. Uh, we're just going to go over a few things before we go live off the air. Congratulations to Scott LaPierre for winning the men's knockout. Congratulations. What? What? Yeah. Oh, one second. Are we getting told? Uh, oh, we're going to get another interview in, I think. Right? Yeah, that's right. We should acknowledge our women's winner as well if she is here, right? Okay. So let's just announce it. Sorry, folks, for the confusion there. Congratulations to Scott Lop here for winning uh, men's knockout. Congratulations to Tim Susie for top pinfall there. Congratulations to Lori Lewis for top women's pinfall. And uh, congratulations to Blanca Gacharna, the uh, all but official bowler of the year uh, for the women. We will crown a men's bowler of the year as well. Uh, on April 6th, that's Saturday, uh, that Saturday, Lita Lanes, Nashua, New Hampshire, here on Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and I believe our next major broadcast will be uh, Easter Classic, uh, Lita Lanes, I would imagine, uh, of course, on that Easter Sunday. Uh, Kevin, anything I missed? No, I think we covered pretty much everything tonight. Today was a real good day. Uh, 41 total bowlers for the men's side. Seven bowls for the ladies. I would like to see that number go up. I what? encourage all females to try out, yep. come, and... All women. It was great to see the women at the mixed doubles, and hopefully the Pro Series is more a success uh, getting turnout there. In the meantime, we thank you very much for all your support just by watching. Uh, it's been said by the bowlers that you out there, the audience, have been a great help in really growing this game of Candlepin Bowling. Sure, they say it's us for putting it on the air, but... By having you watching and allowing our channel to grow by watching and subscribing, you are making a big difference in this great game of the Northeast. I do want to mention one thing. Earlier today, Bob Witt said he went into Academy Lanes and he's been noticing a lot more people coming into Alice and Bowling on Friday nights, which is a good thing. Yeah. So, and he would know on the Friday Night Pro League, so... You guys have been driving the turnout in Candlepin Bowling, and we thank you very much for all of your support. In the meantime, that was Kevin Burns, Paul Grant's earlier. My name is Greg Guyar. Thank you for watching this presentation of Candlepin Bowling Network and the Candlepin Pro Series. And until next time, so long.